Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to paint a simple realistic glass with an airbrush. Um, I'm going to do some more glass tutorials in the future. This one will be a light colored background, just like this photo. This is a reference I printed out from Pixabay, and so that's the one we're going to be painting up today. So, my first step was I cut out a mask to protect the overspray on my board. Our second step, we are going to tape off these specular highlights before we lay any paint in here and you guys can find the tapes that I use down at my kit page which there will be a link down in the description below. And my next step, since I was reminded that I'm no Brad Pitt, was to get myself all dialed up and prepare for my, my video shoot. The reflections in the back were a little bit offset from the reflections in the front portion of the glass therefore I broke the tape right there and I'm just going to roll that back and to keep that out of the way. Now I have mixed up a very, very light gray, as you can see here, and you barely gonna be able to see that hit the surface. And I am going to take that gray and I'm gonna fill it in, but what I'm doing down here at the bottom is I'm pulling my tape up so that it doesn't create a really harsh edge where it should blend in there. Now I've mixed up another gray, which is about you know, see, about twice as dark as the other gray. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to freehand around my edge here, um, my lip, just for expediency, um, because I don't really care if it's perfect or not. But what you could do is tape that off or use a shield, you know, to protect that edge. You don't want to make sure that this line here stays fairly crisp, um, you know. I'm pretty confident in my freehand abilities, although I'll probably mess it up now that I said that. And of course, well, these are getting a shadow in my way. Of course, from on the outside edge, you need to work from the outside edge down. An easy way to do that when you got a shield is to spray from above, make sure you're half off, half on your shield. And as long as I'm spraying in this direction and not into my open shield, the overspray is not gonna run up my shield and create an issue for me. Still got another layer of colors to go in here, but while I got this mix in, I'm gonna come down along this edge just a little bit and let it round out that glass. So I'm just gonna work off of this edge and I'm gonna let the overspray fall into the glass. Again, I'm freehanding. Um, this, I really think, needs to be freehanded because it really needs to be a not, it needs to be fairly crisp, but not highly crisp and defined in the back. And we've got another color that's gonna come in here. And that is the back edge of the glass where light gets trapped in there. So the way light travels through glass is light hits glass and the glass is a little bit different than air, but it's not that far different. But it starts to, as it's curved, it starts to re reflect and bounce. So what happens here is light travels through glass differently than it travels through air light travels through water differently than it travels through air and it travels through water a little bit different than it travels through glass but they're close from the refractive index which you may have heard me mention that term before so but that has to do with angle of incidence and i'm going to get more into angle of incidence over on my patreon but you guys might want to google that term there's a lot of great articles about it now I'm going to go ahead and same thing, I'm going to freehand that line. Of course, I, I drew some pencil marks in there, so I know where I'm going. You know, I'm not, I'm not just operating deaf, dumb, and blind here. We're going to put a little bit of shadowing at this color, the bottom of the glass, get a little bit of shadow in it, and maybe that other little... So, because this will be a little more shadowed because the glass is thicker, it's fully involved down here. Um, so there's a little bit darker than there is in the thinner parts of the glass. Still working with my second color. I'm going to be a darker color here, but we're gonna go ahead and start working in where you've got those reflections coming in. 
what's important is understand, remember the glass is rounded, so what's going to happen is those reflections are going to be curved like this, just like the bottom of this glass looks curved, or is curved, but that same angle. So your general direction, as that shadow is curving around there, is going to be the same. Yes, I have a reference photo here, but I'm not going to have to follow that exactly for it to look like a glass. Right, now, barely perceptible when the, within this bottom, it's a little bit darker, a little bit of shadowing going on. So, we, you know, I'm going to, because I want you all to be able to see it, I'm going to make it a little bit darker than the reference because I really. It's hard sometimes to see what I'm doing on camera when I'm doing those really subtle blends. And I'm also going to get in here and do a couple of little sharp. So now I've mixed up another gray. I actually just added black to it. And so I'm about, you know, twice as dark as that last gray I used. Now when it comes to this edge here, as the lip, as the curvature comes around the lip of that glass, that has to be really, really crisp. So... I'm definitely going to use a shield. Let's see if we can find one that matches that up. It's not going to probably be perfect, but I think I can make it work. So I'm going to shade in from that outside edge. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now I unmasked it because I thought some of that stuff was getting in my way. You see I start to form up a glass, but I failed to do the bottom. So where it meets at the bottom needs to have that darker shadow as well. And I should have done that while I had it masked because it would have been crisper. But I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in now. Now around this back rim, it actually went, let it spray down a little bit too far, but that's all right because I was going to put a little highlight underneath that edge anyway, which I'm doing obviously with an eraser. I'm working on poster board and not the best surface in the world to... Uh, do this work off of. See how I got that? Gives it that edge, that rolled look, and then like light is bouncing around in there. Even before I put my darkest darks in there, I'm going to, same principle, we're following that same principle as before. All right, now I got my shield out because I want to protect this. I want to get these edges a little bit crisper. Um, I don't have a shield to match that line, so, you know. I'm just going to have to roll it as I go work around the edges. And we can kind of have that lip can kind of have a broken, broken shadow. I'm going to highlight some highlights in here, but they'll be kind of broken. Uh, when I say broken highlights, I mean, you know, they won't be, it won't be just a continuous rim around that glass. Use my darker mixture off the outer edge following the sun. Other side, same thing. I'm gonna do this without shielding or freehanding on the back side, but you probably should. I'm gonna come in just to the inside, not quite extend all the way out to the outside with it, but I'm going to get really, really dark around the base of the glass and work in. Following the same curvature, I'm 
this spot, you know, it's going to extend out just a little bit further here than it does back here. So it's kind of like curved away from it. And maybe add those little, got to clean my airbrush. It's got full flow run. Add those little pieces that are right there. Maybe a little of that come around. That's not quite true to the reference, but we don't really. It's not about being true to the reference as much as it is about understanding what we're trying to achieve. All right, guys, so that's the tutorial for today. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into glass and, you know, different types of glass um, in a future tutorial, but this should help you get started. Hopefully, you know, y'all got something out of this. If you did, you know, of course, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, you know, maybe raise me a glass or something like that. I know y'all can't raise a glass, but I can raise one to you.